speak another example of Quinn McCloskey method. To simplify in this problem, I have taken as a three variables problems. Let us uh, see how to solve. As earlier mentioned, we have to make a stage, uh, first, first stage, and because there are three variables, and here uh, the main terms are 0, 1, 3, 5, 7. Therefore, uh, the 0, 1, 3, 5, 7 are to be converted into binaries first, because these are the all binaries. After converting into binaries, they should be grouped according to the number of ones available in that binary number. Therefore, this is the 0, this is the 0, this is the 1, this is the 3, 5, and 7. But you look at that, in the first group, number of 1 is nil, here is 1, number of 1 is 1, number of 1 is 2, number of 1 is 3. Therefore, in that, only already I told in the earlier cases, that grouping in the first stage should be done according to the number of ones in that binary number. Now in the right hand side we have written as I told before also right hand side we are writing the uh, decimal equivalent of that binary number. Now as, uh, as now we, we are coming to the uh, mapping the first first element of the first group is to be mapped with the element of the second group because second group only one element is there therefore we are mapping after mapping you can see c and c and c bar are being eliminated therefore we are putting dash here we are writing bracket which are which are the numbers being used 0 and 1 is used we are writing 0 and 1 here then then uh, then we are coming to the group number 2 with group number 3 that, that 1 is mapped with 3 after mapping, we, you can see that the middle one, that means B bar and B are get eliminated. Therefore, B and remaining is 0, 1. Therefore, this is B, we are putting dash here. In the, uh, and, then, and then in the third case, you can see that, uh, that the first element A is get eliminated, 0, 1. In the similar way, we, the, when we mapping each element of the uh, third group with the last group, that means first case, if A get eliminated, we are putting dash here, and second case with the five with seven, it is get B get eliminated, and we are writing in the we are writing the numbers in the bracket which are been used. Now, as I told in the earlier cases also, that after uh, that second stage is completed, second stage is done. That then and this is the very important thing that what are the in the first, again come back to the first stage what are the the number has been used here zero is there therefore make a tick mark here one is there make a tick mark here then th three is there make a tick mark here five is there tick mark here seven is there tick mark here therefore all these uh, numbers uh, whatever we are writing a decimal equivalent these are all used therefore. Uh, we are right. We are putting a tick marks here. Now, uh, now we are, uh, we are we are now we are in the preparation of the third stage. Now, in this, the in the second stage, the first group will be mapped with each element of the second groups. Now you can see already in the previous cases also I told told that that in this type of mapping, next mapping, you should see that that dash should match dash should match. Therefore, they are dash in the third place. In the second group, it is the second place and the first place. There is no matching takes place. There are no matching between the first and the second. Therefore, there is no matching. Therefore, now coming to the second and third. Therefore, this is the first element. It is in uh, dash in the second place. Here, dash in the second place in the, this element. Therefore, after, uh, after this mapping, we are getting that dash dash 1 because a this is representing a bar this is a that is get eliminated and therefore it is and therefore we are writing in the bracket what are used 1 3 and 5 7 1 3 5 7 we are writing then we are mapping this 
and that is that is over that is we have mapped with 1357 we got it and then come to the second element our second element the first place it is in the first place dash in the first place and here only one element dash in the first place therefore after mapping we are getting this after after getting after getting this uh, these are this is represent uh, uh, this is represent c dash dash one represent c and uh, uh, before that uh, before that you should tick what have been element what are the things have been uh, used one three is used therefore one three has to be ticked one five is there one one five is there ticked and three seven is there three seven is there ticked 57 is there 57 is there ticked but you can see 01 is not there 01 is not there 01 cannot be ticked that is an important thing it cannot be ticked therefore the remaining the which is remaining unticked because in the third stage only one group is there therefore no further fourth group cannot be produced anymore because no other group present for mapping therefore those are the remaining unticked that is the that is called prime implicants therefore here the prime implicant here is c because both are same here it is a bar and b bar therefore we are making a next table we are making a prime implicant c and a bar b bar we are bracket we are writing that decimal number and here we are writing the mean terms that means zero here we are writing zero one three five seven zero one three five seven after that whatever the uh, the main terms are used we are making a tick mark one three five seven and in this case only zero and one has been used therefore zero and one after that after the prime implicant we have to go for essential prime implicant that means we can we can eliminate some prime implicant if all these all these uh, main terms are been uh, included by this prime implicant but in this case this because uh, in the first C zero is not zero is not included but in the a bar b bar zero is to be because they, therefore both of them uh, are prime implicant and and both of them are essential prime implicants therefore summation of the essential prime implicant is the your simplified form of expression boolean expression therefore we are writing C plus C plus a bar into b bar C, and that is the that is the result by Quinn McClaskey method. Now we can verify that what we got in the QM method that is correct or not. Therefore, we are just verification. It is a just verification by KM method. We we already have plotted the number that is that is uh, uh, 0, 1, 3, and 5, and 7. And you can see that the grouping is possible here is the grouping is possible here one group and another group is this therefore the bigger group mm, bigger group will give you because bigger group is, is completely a get eliminated and in that b get in this case b get in the in the uh, horizontally if you come you a get completely eliminated and vertically if you come then zero and one it is a b bar and b that is get eliminated therefore only remaining is c and the smaller group you can see that is a a bar and if you go to the vertical it is a c get eliminated uh, therefore and a bar e into b bar a bar into b bar therefore you can see that both the results are identical both the results are identical therefore it is the k map we are using here only to verify that the result we got in the qm method is correct